Got a good connection. We're You're live lying. now. Yeah, we're live. Oh, hey guys. What's up, Olivia? What's up? Okay, you know, plug your um, Instagram right now. Pull out your phone. Okay. Right now, so we can see. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> uh, and I hate it because I'm going to run off. Right. Hey guys, this is me. Follow me. All right, see you later. No, right. right. It's uh, at Olivia Vidalman. Okay, this is for the rewatch because nobody's up here yet. I know. But when the rewatch happens, then they're going to come up and see you. So. Let Stay me, tuned for right. our versus video that we just Okay, did. folks, so I just did a collab shoot with. We're so cute together. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, I mean, I typically look, you know, <laughs> I ain't bad looking myself. <laughs> I know. <Right? laughs> um, hey, guys. Oh, snap. Okay, I see you, Bryce. What's up, player? Um, me and Olivia just did a collab video, so stay tuned um, on the lookout for that in the future. I just wanted to go live real quick just because we're at the end of the shoot, so now we're just playing around. What's okay. up, Sel 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 Selassie Tawa? What's up, David Clark? <laughs> so you want to just kind of say some words before you go? Yeah, sure. So we just shot what I think is going to be a really cool collab video. I'm a film photographer, um, so I shot 120 millimeter film today, so medium format film and Isaiah shot the three girls on digital too so it's gonna be fun to see the comparison I think yeah. when I get them developed so right. stay tuned for that cool yeah you guys stay tuned for the shoot anyways I'm just hanging out now with my uh my girls bye bye, -bye. oh bye bye, -bye. See you later. bye. thank you bye. Bye. these are my girls um I'm his favorite no, great. Uh, wait it's a so you guys, we this is a new this is a new mixtape, all right? This my new this is gonna be the um, the uh, the album cover for my Nick mixtape. It's gonna be called "Be Better Have My Money," all right? Let me get my pimp hat strong, oh. okay? What? Boy, you ain't no pimp. I'm what? Okay. Hold up. Why you take my hat off my head though? Jeez. Okay. It's much better on me. Wait, you guys, let me know. We'll ask the internet right now. They'll tell me the truth. <laughs> the hat look better on me or on her? They're gonna say me. They're gonna say me. Dude, you look like a milk don't, dud. It don't. <laughs> really though, you gonna bring out jokes from ninth grade? Her? Ah, oh, Lord. Two, two. No, get up. Go, go somewhere. Go somewhere. Where my camera at? Where my she. camera? <laughs> Yo. Her, of can course. Can we shoot me? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you. Let's go. I know. Y'all fired. All y'all fired. Dip, dip for my live, all right? <laughs> Here, hold this for me. Anything would look better on her. Hey, what's the problem you looking like, Victor? Okay, all right, 17. Oh. 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 Is that on me or her? Boom. How do I flip it? Oh, I know how to play. Okay, um, what do you want to do with that? Oh, there's not. Actually, I like it. I like how that's there. Got the lighting over there. It's 8 p.m. Uh, what? Let me see, what? let me see. I can't yeah. get it to focus. Wait, full body, go back. Please. Hmm? Full body, please. Full body? All right, cool. Where do you back up full body? Break, move. Oh, let me get all three. All three? Yeah. <laughs> you take this. In the hat. In the hat. Yes. Damn, you spend that mess aggressively. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what are everybody saying? What time is it over there? Oh, yeah, it's 8 o'clock. Okay, this is, up. this is it right here. This is the thumbnail. One, two, Pause. 
Oh yeah, this is pretty. One, two, going again. This is uh, Tacoma. Still in Washington. Yeah. One. Turn into this way for me, Grace. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taylor, show what's up. One. Two. Oops. Chin up for me, um, Brooke, and make a look a little more. What's up, James? Okay, there we go. Oh, let me get up. <laughs> Fan club. All right, look here, one, two. Katie Rich said, "My babies." Who's? Oh, is that Katie? Katie, yeah. Katie. Oh, okay. What's up, Katie? Katie. Katie, Katie was supposed to be out here, right? Okay, so let's uh, let's split up and do some more shit somewhere else. Let's go back down here because she wanted that out. I like have the two girls get down and look up at the other one with both arms up. Like holding like a, like looking like a. Katie like, said, love ya, even you, Ike. Uh, <laughs> Ike's ham. What lens are you using, Ike? Uh, the 50. 50. So, yeah, let me see. Ike, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Why are you disappointed? You at home with the I ain't even gonna put I ain't even gonna put you out there, James. <laughs> I invited you, alright? <clears throat> it's 10 p.m. over here. Shout out to shit. Okay, yeah, so you guys in the summertime in the Pacific Northwest, like Washington, uh Portland, that area, in the summertime, it doesn't get dark until like nine o'clock. Like sorry, ten o'clock. It doesn't get no, sunset's about 9 o'clock. They don't do fireworks until like 9, 30, 10 o'clock in this time of the year. So the light lasts for a long time. Golden hour lasts forever. You want to go in the window? Oh, look, another. Another? Look at this. Hold up. What is this? Boom. Okay. Should I, should I, should I troll his shoe? Be like, work it, girl. <laughs> All right, so that's your spot? All right, here. Let me see what this looks like. Brooke, you look like you're going to fall. That's what you look like. Don't be scared, Brooke. Don't be scared. Put one leg up, can one leg you? Up. No, she can't. Oh. She got the mom jeans on. Like to put the leg up, there you go. Damn. Yup. There you go. Look at those abs. Hold that. Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> it's Tacoma. I think I got a room for. Well, that's like, are cool. you using any lighting in the shoot? The natural, the sun, not anymore. Straight on, yeah. Back up a no, corner. spread your legs. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Just for Order. fun. Fix the face up some. Perfect. Hold that. Stay down. I'm gonna shoot from the side. Yeah. <laughs> Just fall forward. <laughs> Another green. <laughs> Look at Katie's hair in her, that picture. Katie! Katie, why do you look so young? Katie's still on here? I love her. Oops. What 
What's your first stop? I don't know. Between arms up and between the left, like above the gate. Anyone wants to shoot? Follow me on Instagram. Not mine. At Lucy Guadalupe. You? Actually, look off. Like, how are you looking out? Bro, this shit so close to my face. No. Oh. Like, <laughs> Ike, what lens are you using? <coughs> Come to Toronto. I'm down. I love Toronto. Wait, what? What lens are you using? A what? The 50. 50? And we're in the Opera Alley, right? Yep. Yeah. Location. Yeah, we are. So. I, they don't know, okay? If you're in Tacoma, this is downtown. This is um, Opera Alley. So if you're coming down Market Street, um, make a left, and then come this way. Come to, somebody said come to the six. Okay, cool. Come over, let me get some shots of you in the middle of the street. <laughs> Bam, right there. Pose it out. Yeah, hold that. Relax the face, all right? Ugh. Act like you're happy, all right? You are happy, right? Don't be mean to me. Ready? <clears throat> this is a test shot. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Actually, come up some. No, you you straight like that. Right there, perfect. Give me that again. Pause for a second. Perfect. Turn to the side. Why? But take that phone out the back pocket because I don't want that phone. I think it should be open. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Come over, over, over. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Perfect. Hold that. With the wind? Okay. Back up a little bit. That way. Right there. You said what? Yeah. Okay, ready? One. Got it. You just move around. Bring the other hand to the back. Yeah, bring the, bring the other hand. Perfect. Hold that. Bring your hand out of the face for me. Perfect. But lean forward. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Hold it. And turn the shape on to me. Face to me. Come up a little bit. <laughs> hey, James. <laughs> James, hey, other girls from Tacoma. I need to shoot with them too. I'm high key mad I passed. Hey James, I still we still gotta like uh, get that shoot uh, planned up too. So I'm gonna hit you up soon. That's the 750, right? Is that the 750? Yeah. Is that a 1-4 or 1-8? One 1-4. Uh, one four. One four.
All right, James. Yeah, I'll be hitting you up soon. Just gotta set it up. Like <laughs> Taylor said, I looks like he's going on vacation after this shoot. <laughs> oh shit. I'm a fan of this girl, she's totally my kind of model. Bad numbers. Bad numbers. Are you riding? This is good. <laughs> D Max said, What's good? <laughs> oh, let me get you right here for a second. Um, That's just you. Boom. What? Who is that? Oh, she, yeah, see, look. Look at that. Hmm. Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why is Peppa Pig commenting? What? <laughs> you got Peppa Pig. That's Peppa Pig is the is the wave, all right? <laughs> you got the bag? Alright, let's head back. <laughs> That's some stuck in your hair, huh? <laughs> D-Max, I'm in the suburbs of Hawaii. Let's get out the street before we get hit. Gotta get the bag. What's up, David? Hey, bro, can we get my phone out of there? Who else is up here? I know my head is all bigger. What up, Michael Miestro? Can you show your belly, do a peace sign? Here, Brooke. Do a peace sign. It says show your belly and do a pee. There we go. Perfect. Why? Got it. I don't know. Peppa Pig wanted you to show your belly you and do a pee sign. Mm -hmm. Hey, say hi to Brazil. What's up, Brazil? It is overcast. Um, Yeah. Well, not really. The sun is setting. Like, there's still light out. Like, if I drive up, there's still some sun. Um, What else is there? Huh? Oh. Right. Hold this for me. Oh, thank you, Michael. Michael dropped. Uh, wait. Yeah, never mind. Michael Mitchell dropped ten bucks. I appreciate that. The homie. Getting in the car. Bye. 
Hold on. You following me or are you heading back? Yeah, I'm just going to the house. All right, Bye. then I'll catch you. Bye. Bye. Put my seatbelt on. Can you like Jordan from the next Yeah, we done shooting. Oh, somebody's charging Casey? their phone. You know the Jordan from the New Street team? Yeah. They're cousins. Yeah, that's his cousin. That's Jordan's cousin. Oh, go up the hill. Here, hold this for me. Are you still live? Yeah. Look, I'm live until my phone die. Because he thinks he's just... Yeah. Shit. Oh, there you go. See? Oh, there we go. See? Oh, yeah. Here we go. What they saying? If they have any questions, ask me. Let me know. Ask a question. <laughs> what? You want to get Bob? No. She said, or he said, are you going to upload some raw files? Yeah, actually. Contour on fleek. Thanks. Oh, who knows about your contour? What's the Instagram of the girl behind you? What? What's what? What's your Instagram, Brooke? B. Lynn Johnston. You should comment it. You should like. Yeah. Oh, you don't have any data. That's Lynn right. Johnson, it's not that hard. Sure. <clears throat> People give you money? Yeah, but you got if, if, if usually the rule is, is when they donate money, usually the moms twerk. I don't think twerk? Guys, yeah. It's like a little money. My twerk. IG, Lucy Guadalupe. L U C Y G A D A L U P. 100% natural. Does that mean, have I like not had any work done? I suppose so. Oh my God, I have had true. no work done. <laughs> Boy, I wish I had some work done. <laughs> Someone slide me like five grand. You said what? What would you get done? If you my get nose. Done? Your nose is fine. I love your nose. I yeah, hate like you my nose. What's wrong? What's wrong with it? It's, I don't want to talk about it on live stream and cancel everyone my insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> got it from your mama's. Boy, I don't have a mom. Dang. Just kidding. What <laughs> if I didn't have a mom? <laughs> right. And someone said that. I like some old lady at work harasses me every day that my stuff shows off too Pierce. much. What stuff? And I'll, like my clothes. And I'll be wearing a shirt that goes that down my hair. That was savage. That and then was savage. Like, oh. What do you work at? Center Williams. What is that? Yeah. What is it though? It's what is it? Real estate. Oh, you, you actually sell houses? Mm -hmm. No, you, you don't. Live, no, you don't. You sell houses, houses. Oh, well, I don't know. I just got illustrated today. Yo, show, touch, yeah, back. Yeah. Tell him. Tell him what you said. No, 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 no. But then, then, no, and no. then she goes today, she said, oh, I, met, I bet your dad was super happy that you're wearing that. And I go, my dad died when I was like, no. <laughs> There's a lady that said that? And she goes, oh my God, and she gave me 10 bucks. Really? So I'm just What's she give you 10 dollars for? What is that going to Because she felt bad. Ew, this Ben Jenkins needs to get blocked. What? Let me see. He's being creeping. Ben yeah, Jenkins. Which one is the one that asked for what you my stomach? There you go. Is that the same person? That was Peppa Pig. Who's You're that? removed, Ben Jenkins. <laughs> you got removed. See, look at the light. Turn the, turn the camera around. I can't. Up, that up, there, yeah. You guys see the sun? Now flip it around on your face. I you probably just shoot and stop in the middle of the road. See all this light out here? Look, you got it. We can still shoot. I ain't got no value power though. Look, that, that's about to die. Oh, they're gonna hold taps. <gasps> What's this? Dang. What are they doing? Can we go watch? No, you don't wanna you don't wanna watch. That's the hold taps. You wanna stay as far away from them as possible. What's that? I can't be seen with you guys with them. Cause then Wait, be, why? It's hotel. What does that mean? Don't worry about it, okay? Google Tell it when you get home. No, what does yeah, it mean? Okay, Tell us. Know. Like, why can't you just inform I us? Why? Matter of fact, when we drive by them, I gotta dip, I gotta dip my head low. Why? Wait, what is it? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> who's laughing? <laughs> James Kassan. <laughs> What is it? What is it? You Somebody guys, tell us right now. You guys, I just rolled, I just rolled by the hoteps with a car full of um, white girls. I'm like, I got it. <laughs> like I'm riding by the hotel like this. What is it? Look you said the, what? It's a hotel. Ho H O T E P hoteps. Okay. About to Google it. Just go, just go on YouTube 
<laughs> just go on YouTube and type, and then listen to some one of them talk, and then you'd be like, oh my gosh, all righty then. <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> peace or I come in peace. You guys, you guys, you think I'd be all right if I showed up like this with this squad? Can you just explain it? Cause I'll explain it when I get in. I look, you, it's one of those things you gotta know, you know, know to know. Like, it's well, not like a. If you tell us, then we'll go. All right, dickhead. It's a whole, it's a long story, all right? Jeez. All right, dickhead. Let me get in the house. I see how we're playing it. Look, I'm gonna see you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you some links to get your mind right, all right? You're gonna be, you're gonna be re. What was that? What's that? Um, can you just tell us? Yeah, I will. <clears throat> but I want to do it on here because I might I might get it wrong and then I might get judged. So you usually do get things wrong. All That's the one time. Thing you're right about. All the time. <laughs> Thank God I'm getting out of this car. Five minutes is too long. You know what? You gonna stop Here's being disrespectful while you on my my stream with my people because I'm your favorite. Uh no, they trust me. They probably want me to disrespect you. Uh, they might be actually funny. Is there anything? New boy. Hold on, let me see what they're saying. Nice Treat him my man's like an Uber. What's up? Uh D Mac, actually, um, I'm supposed to be doing the studio shoot tomorrow. Me and uh uh I forget her name. Jeez. Me and um Kaylani, who I did the beauty dish shoot, she had the short hair. We're supposed to be uh, meeting up tomorrow, so I actually might live stream tomorrow as well. Hey, you got the keys, um, Lucy? Oh, they're in there. Okay. I'll show you guys what I'm working on when I get in the house, if y'all still here. How long did it take you to go full time? Um, so we started shooting at the end of 2009 and we started our business in 2010. Here, grab this for me. Somebody please, thank you. You look bad, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes. Okay, so where was I? Um, started the business in 2010, and then I was going full time like by 2012. So like two years. Put my phone up. Okay, we good. <clears throat> so where we at? Oh, <laughs> somebody said you selling fruits. You know what? Let me show you guys my engagement session yesterday. Shot these yesterday. Um, and delivered them. Where? What else? What's up? I'm leaving. You out? Yeah. I do. Okay. Ow. Bye. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Alrighty. Thank you. Oh, wait. Never mind. You gonna say bye to the um? Is that was that a gang sign you <laughs> store? What are these? What are these kids? Ah. Don't throw no gang signs up my. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, yeah. 
So engage and shoot from yes or oh, when did I shoot this? Uh, Sunday. I shot this Sunday. Some black and white. <clears throat> See, they didn't turn out too bad. We did some in the middle of the street. And then some of them like together. So yeah, that was yesterday. And I just uploaded a video to Instagram. Oh, what up, Zed Pro? Or Lee, sorry, I just said Lee. I'm showing them the engagement shoot that I just did yesterday. And where is it at? So this is the video I'm working on for I just actually, did, you know what? I just did a, um, I just uploaded a video to IGTV. You guys, I'm doing IGTV now. I should have did like, so let me show you. Whoever don't, if you don't follow me on, on Instagram, I, um, I did an IGTV video. And like, this is my timeline, but everything's like vertical. Okay, perfect now, so. And this is the time. Would you say so stacked editing or individually? Um, I don't know what that means, stacked editing. I don't know. What you use to edit video? I use Final Cut Pro. I'm editing in Final Cut Pro. <clears throat> yeah, so here's the deal, right? Um, Bryce said, are you cropping for IGTV? Um, <laughs> so here's the deal, right? I shot, uh, where are we at? Right here, go up here. <clears throat> I have two things. This is the IGTV version, and then this is the actual real video, right? So this is the actual video that I shot. And what I did was, some of these scenes are shot like wide like this, but... IGTV just needs like this much. So I just kind of cropped and used certain scenes um, like that. And these are the videos. And so some of these scenes I just used like this right here. Um, I used that part. So as you guys see this, So then, um, you go here to the IGTV version, and basically I just cropped. And this is what it looks like. Like this clip here um scale down that's basically what it looks like and i just zoom it in and then i just move you know my i just move it to where it needs to be and then and that's where we go oh this was funny we are testing out And then my friend Stan, I use his drone for some B-roll. So these shots, like this shot here is 
this size. Where is it at? Go back to it. Scale, yeah, it's this, this is the, um, this is the original crop. But I just zoom it in. Now, for that first part, um, for this part, let me find it. Some stuff I did shoot vertically, the beginning. Like this, I shot vertically. And then I just put it into the timeline right here. So it'll be this way. Then I just flip it and then zoom it in. Perfect. So some, some stuff I shoot vertically, but because I shoot so wide, because I shoot my videos so wide, like, I can crop any part, like this could be cropped in for a scene um, and things like that. And so the reason I do just vertical video for you, um, I shoot I shoot it vertically, is because sometimes it's annoying to like have to turn your phone around. So, um, although I do do it sometimes, but I felt like it's just fun to try to create something different as opposed to creating like a wide video. I would just create like some vertical stuff for... So, but that's the, this is the next video. You guys are getting a preview of the next video I'm loading. It's already done. Like this is the edit. I just have to edit the actual photos. So I put, basically I put like these placeholder photos in there. <laughs> Victor. So this is a placeholder video or photo. And then I just have to edit it. Now it looks fine as it is, but like I know I'll get judged. So to put a little bit of extra work, I have to go in and retouch and edit these pictures um, for the actual, for the IGTV video, or sorry, for the real video. So it's pretty much done though. Oh, thanks Ron, I appreciate that. <clears throat> And then this is the end. And then I gotta give a shout out to um I gotta give a shout out to uh a shout out to Victor and Stan for coming out and then I think I'm gonna advertise the IGTV video at the end of the video too. So this is an empty spot for that. Oh whoa, Ron, you that's a little bit much. Yeah, Victor, send me your um, send me your 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 edits. Like, send me the pictures that you want to use. I know um, Stan edited a few too, so I can use those at the end. Put those in video. So yeah, that's what I got going on. What is your go-to? Why is that? Oh, I was gonna say, why does it look like that? What is your go-to portrait lens? Um, the fifty. Just because it's easy, it's, um, it's, uh, what is the word? It's, uh, it's versatile. These are the unedited, um, shots. I'm here to troll. Oh, I got that. How long did this video take to make? Uh, I was able to put it together, um, within the, within a few hours. It just, for me... What takes me long to make videos is trying to figure out like when I got shots. So like when I'm recording, I would record like a whole, you know, 10, 20 minutes. And then I have to figure out like when in the video did I take this shot so that I can match it up to the frame so you guys can see what happens from beginning to end. So I want you to see like everything that's going on well, before I take the shot in the resulting image, as opposed to me just like doing a bunch of video and then showing a bunch of pictures at the end or showing photos that don't match to what I actually did. I, that's, that takes a while. And uh, Bryce is right. Uh, took me forever to find music. Even with this, so I use Epidemic Sounds to, to do music and also use Do SoundCloud. And uh, this right here, this is not even a stream. 
This is like a... Like, this whole song is different. You hear that bass? I wanted to take that out. So edit, undo. So I took out the bass. So you just hear the. And I didn't let the bass come in until the end. Like I'm, a lot of my music is always intentional. Like I'm always like, I put a thought into everything I and everything I do, like as far as the beats and stuff and the music. So yeah. So how long is this video? It's what, a like six minute video? Yeah, so it'll be pretty quickly. And I, we shot this on Friday. We shot it on Friday. I started working on it yesterday, so it took me about two days to get it done. You can use the timestamps. I don't I don't get it. I'm I'm lost on that one. You read here. How was the cheetah stand rice bowl versus Paul C. Buff Octobox? Um, I think they're both good. I, I think just it's just a matter of like convenience, really. Like in my opinion, an Octobox is an Octobox. Light is light. It's just a matter of like which one is going to give you the size you want, which ones are easier to carry around this, as far as the quality are made. Like the Paul C. Buff Octoboxes are really, really good. Um, but what I noticed with the Paul C. Buff, I know that they have the 48 inch one. I haven't used the smaller one, but I use the 48 inch uh, Paul C. Buff and then Victor has the 34 inch. So the 34 inch is a lot smaller and easier to manage. The uh, 48 inch. Uh, um, Paul C. Buff is, is kind of big, so, but I don't, they both kind of have the umbrella mechanism that open up. They both have inner diffusion and outer diffusion. They both come a grid, so I think it's a matter of um, which one you can get your hands on in the size. Uh, was that shoot a TFP thing or something else? Mugen said. Uh, Mugen, most, 95% of the stuff that you see on YouTube is time for prints. That's why I'm able to get so many models because um, most of my shoots are time for print shoots. If I had to do shoots based on people paying me to make videos, you wouldn't see as many YouTube videos. Or I'd, I'd have to like document my senior work and other stuff. This stuff I get to do for fun. I get to do it the way I want to do it and make the images that I want to make for YouTube and explore ideas for YouTube. Did those models pay you to shoot them or did you hire them? Yeah, I, I I don't pay any models to shoot, like so it's all time for prints. Oh, match up the pics with the video. Okay, I get what you're saying, yeah. <clears throat> but here's the deal. It's that, but then it's also like which pictures do I want to show? So I gotta figure out like which image I actually want to show, which which pictures are good, so that makes sense. For it's a great light. It's bright. It works. Uh oh, my phone froze up for a second. I'm trying to. Read. Are we back? <clears throat> okay, I think we're back. Okay, cool, we're back. My video crapped out on me. Um, oh, my phone crapped out on me. So where were I reading? I was reading the comments. First impressions, her face, Paul C. Buff, 
Frosted Flakes. Hmm. I need someone to shoot stuff like that for me. It's hard. It is hard doing everything by yourself, um, Lee. Dead Jacquees. What else was up here? What else? How do you edit your headshots? I'm just saying. <laughs> D-Mac. I still got to get D-Mac his headshots. I got you, D-Mac. I like that shirt. Thanks. Will you put their IGs in the description? Just curious if one of the girls is from Toronto. If, um, yeah, Zach, um, I will, you know what, I'll pull them up here. I'll pull up the IGs here. None of them are from Toronto. They're all from this, from Tacoma, Washington area. Um, this is Blen, or oh, sorry, Brooke. So this was Brooke. And this is her senior picture that we took in Seattle. I can Tosh. <clears throat> what else did I take? Oh, we took this one in Seattle. This was in um, Brooke, Grace. Sorry, Brooke, Lucy, and Grace. This is in Palm Springs. If you guys, if you guys are around when we we're in Palm Springs and shooting out there. Um, this was out there. So that's, let me see, did she tag the other, other girls? Grace. So this is Grace. This is the other girl. This was in Palm Springs. Um, and then where's Lucy at? She's not in a photo with her. This is Lucy. Took this picture in Seattle. This is another one we took in Seattle on her senior session. Uh, and where's Palm Springs at on hers? Uh, that's too far. So anyway, yeah. Lucy, that's Lucy, Grace, and uh, Brooke. That's all three of them. <clears throat> uh, how do you contact models? Most of the people I contact don't respond. Um, well, Jack, you said most. Hmm. You said most, which means some do. Um, if I were you, I would just work with this. If you can't, I feel like if you are having a hard time contacting models, then if you can get at least one or maybe two, just work with those same models over and over until you get better as a photographer or until more people notice you. A quick insight into how I get models. So let me show you. Okay, so... Say I shoot, you know, uh, who's, I don't know, I can't. Okay, so let's say I shoot, um, I contact her and I shoot, wait, let me let me see if I can actually find somebody. Who can I find that I can think about that I shot her friend, maybe? Okay, so Michaela, right? I shoot with Michaela a few times you know you've seen her in a few of my videos like she's the homie right so Michaela knows a lot of people so because this is Michaela and Tosh right here when they were in Paris so because I shoot with Michaela a lot all of the people that know Michaela and follow her when she posts my pictures that I took where's the picture that I took at I took this picture um, of her there right shot by photo me Ike. So then you have 639 likes. That's 639 um, potential people who I could, who see my work, right? So let me show you this girl right here. Boom. Queen Katie. Now I'm like, oh, click on her. Boom. This girl's a model, right? 
So then I'm like, well, she's seen that I shot with Michaela. She knows Michaela. If I reach out to Queen Katie and say, hey, I'm a big fan of you. I would love for you to model for one of my shoots. There's there's something that she can look back on. It's like, hey, I've shot with people. You know, like there's other people that you follow that I've shot with that you know. So you've seen my work before. And a lot of my work, a lot of people that I get to model come in by way of knowing people already. So like, because, you know, Queen Katie knows Michaela, that's a connection there. And anybody who follows her, if I shoot with her, any of her friends that follow her or that she's friends with may also now I have access to or who I may shoot with. I don't know uh, if she follows anybody else that I shot. But yeah, I um I haven't reached out to her to shoot, but I would, you know, I she's she's in my list. If there was somebody I needed, like when I have an idea for her, I want to reach out to her, but I just haven't yet. And so via Michaela, you know, Michaela's friends with uh, Daisha. Daisha, we did the shoot. Um, where's Daisha at? Is she up here? This is all done in the struggle studio. Okay, so Kehlani, her good friend, She's coming tomorrow to shoot. We're supposed to do some stuff tomorrow. So it's just everybody's connected via social media. You know what I mean? This is old school right here. This is a throwback. So if you can find somebody who knows a lot of people or just friends of friends, you can get connected that way. Let me find another one. I can't I can't think of her name. Crap. Okay, so this girl, she reached out to me this year. She's like, hey, I like your work. I would love to work with you. I wish I could pull up my DMs. I'm not show you guys my DMs, but I can't. Um Oh, Rachel. This is the girl we did um when I shot her uh When I went to her apartment and we shot. Some of you may or may not remember her. Let me click her. Oh, it's not even up here. Uh Jacob, who I've shot, Charnay. I used to work with this girl. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shoot with her, but I used to work with her. Taylor, she's one of my seniors. And so I'll, t I'll give you some insight because um, Canon is better than Nikon. Wow, really? Uh, what I do is, and this is what I'll do, right? So like, I'll click this, right? Boom. This is some insight. I'll look here and it'll be like, so-and-so liked your picture. So-and-so followed you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this one right here, <clears throat> Suki, uh, right? So she followed me, right? I haven't followed her back. If I click her, if I click her, I'm like, oh, she's cool. So then I'll look, I'll go through like her page and I'll say, I'll see if like if, if this person's potential and I'm like, Oh, this girl's cute. Let me follow back. So then I'll hit the follow button. Right? So now I'm following this person, right? Cause I'm like, they followed me because they probably like my, um, it's, they probably like my work and they want to follow me because of my photography. That's my guess. So I'll be like, okay, I'll follow this person and then I'll just keep them in mind for later. So when I go to look for a model or look for somebody to shoot, I'll like look through people who I follow back because they're following me because they probably like my work. They like my pictures. So then I'll message them on Instagram and DM them to, to get them to see if they want to come out for a shoot. So that's kind of like the uh, that's kind of like how how I do it, how I find new people outside of the people that I already know. Like Sammy, I just shot Sammy. Sammy's like one of our girls. 
That's Sammy and her mom. Like, I just posted a video with her with the um, 35. So her and any of her friends that may know me now have access. I have access to her friends and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. It just, it's just, you know, one person knows one person that knows another person. And then it just spreads from there. Oh, Tasha's on the live stream now. Hey, babe. Osla, it's amazing how few of our fellow YouTubers don't support each other. Right, David? <clears throat> we won't go there, though. Exodus, what's up? So, yeah, hopefully I answered... Um, hopefully I answered... Um, any extra questions? Wait, what? Dr. Trolls? Oh, Dr. Trolls. Okay, I did. <laughs> Don't mention no names. I oh, you know what happens, right? Yeah, exactly, Bryce. <laughs> we won't we won't mention any names. <clears throat> but um I mean there's a list there's a list of photographers who just kinda like you know um don't want to reach out or may not like participate. I would say that to me, the biggest ones um, that that reach out and help. Osler is good uh, about be, it being in the community. Irene is like is probably to me. Irene is one of the best. And the reason I say Irene is because Irene has one of the biggest followings. Yet she still comments on people's videos. Like she reaches out. Like me and Irene have a relationship. Um, I've seen her mention and talk to other people. You know, she's talked to like a bunch of other photographers. So um, she's really good about like not being like uppity and just, you know, willing to talk to people. Irene got that Kelby check. <laughs> no rants. Paul MX buy some nice. Is that real? What is that? One ninety nine. What's MX? What is that? I'm about to do the, the Google. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's pesos. 10 bucks. I appreciate it. I'll use it. Thank you. Um, who did that? Paulina, I appreciate that. That'll buy me uh, some chicken wings for dinner. Mexican pesos, yeah, I checked it out. That translates to about 11, almost 11 US dollars, somewhere about, so. I have my first photo shoot next week with a friend who is selling his apparel. Do you have any ideas for poses for models wearing hoodies? Um, mm, I don't know. You know what I would do if I were you? I would look up other clothing line pictures, like for like, like um, American apparel, or um, Pack Sun, or free just things like that. Look up those like catalogs and use those poses. Okay, so here's for example. I'm I was gonna do a swimsuit suit, right? So Forever Twenty One, right here. I don't shop it for. I don't wear it forever. I don't really wear it. But these poses, I'm on this site because these poses are some good poses. So like when I want to go and look for some poses, I'm like, okay, I'll just keep these poses in mind for these, um, for the uh, swimsuits and stuff. So that's what I do. I just go onto these clothing clothing line places and look at their poses and see what they do and just copy their poses from the actual real, um, real, real commercials. Tosh said, "Fashion over." <laughs> <laughs> Fashion over. Let's check it out. Hey, this ain't a bad pose, though. He said, get inspiration. Boom. This is probably lit with a flash, with a pro photo flash. So yeah, anyways, that's uh that's how I would do that. A 
Uh, do you ever use full format SLR or do you prefer smaller formats? Are you talking about full frame? Um, Lars, Lars, Lars J. <clears throat> Pinterest is good, yeah. P you can get a lot of poses from Pinterest too. Wedding photo tips. Um, Ernest, I would, I would tell you to watch my wedding vlog, excuse me, watch my wedding vlog and then ask me questions after you watch the vlog because then that'll give you a lot of tips because I explain a lot of stuff when I, when I do my vlogs. What are your thoughts on the, um, 8200 versus the 8600, uh, Amber, if you can afford the 8600, get the 600 because you know, it's better to have more power than not enough power at all. Um, but I feel like the 8200, like it depends on if you use a lot of flash, if you're flash, if you're a big flash person and you like using lights, then get the 600. But if you only use flash when you need it, then get the 200 because the 600 will be overkill for most people. Like I have the, uh, the flash point 360. So I don't need most, mostly more than that. Like they come out with 8400, um, which is kind of in the same range of the 360. The 360 is like enough for me. 360, 400 is, is enough for me because I don't use flash a lot. And when I do use flash, that's enough power for when I need it. But um, if I was a big, if you were like big time in the flash, the 8600 is the way to go because of that power. For like wedding photography and stuff, I think the 8200 is fine. Because it's small, it's compact, it's um, easy to easy to carry around. For midday, for midday shoots to keep color in the sky, would you use a polarizing filter or ND? Um, polarizing filter, um, I believe, would help you keep the color in the sky. If I'm if I'm not if I'm correct, because I feel like the polarizing filter like has the neutral density at the top and it keeps the uh, bottom part clear. But I don't use filters at all, so except for when I was recording. Damn, Ike, how you got all of these trolls? <laughs> hey, man, you know, it is what it is. Trolls come up. He said, polarizing filter stop. Okay, it stops reflections. Then ND, the, what's the one where it's like, um, where it has the, uh, the line, Bryce? Any tips for my first photo shoot? Um, relax, take it easy. You know, make sure you have your poses ready for you, like on, on deck. And just try to be comfortable. Bring some music, play some music, and be comfortable. And find the good light if you know how to find the good light. If you don't know how to find the good light, um, watch my video on finding light. Love hip hop. Love hip hop is on. Really, you gonna watch Love and Hip Hop without me? That's what we doing now. Okay, all right, for most of the reflection. Okay, gotcha. Well, ND filter it is. But ND filter, I feel like, blocks the whole, the whole, um, it makes the whole scene darker. Got you. All right. I'll call you in a second. I'm about to get off here. I'll call you when I get off. ND graduated. Yeah, I think it's more well, uh, graduated filter. No problem, Amber. So, yeah, any last minute um, questions before I log off here so I can call back Tosh? Do you use any Sigma lenses and would you ever shoot with the Lumix G9? Um... No, I don't use any Sigma lenses. I, I shoot with a Tamron. I have a Tamron lens. Yeah, a Tamron lens. I don't have any Sigma lenses. Um, just because I don't, I, like Sigma is 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 um 
iffy to me. Like the Sigma focusing, they have a lot of focusing issues with DSLRs. If I shot like Sony, like if I shot mirrorless, I would trust the Sigma lenses a bit more. But the Sigma lenses on DSLR can be iffy. So sometimes you can miss focus, sometimes it, it may not. You will catch focus, it's just it's too tricky. So I don't trust the Sigma on D DSLR. Um, Would you be doing any more shoots with the girl from the balcony? I thought she fit very well with your style. Balcony. Uh, I don't know which balcony you're talking about. Do you prefer shooting wide open the whole shoot or do you do your f-stop fluctuate? Um, Charles, yeah. Typically, when I'm shooting portraits, I'm usually between 2.8 and like f1.8. That's where I, you know, that's that's my thing. 2.8 to f1.8. Usually around around 2, 2, 2. <clears throat> I don't think he, she's talking about, because I didn't shoot Michaela on the balcony. Out of the window. Oh, you, you okay, you, he's talking about Michaela, yeah. Um, Michaela, Michaela. She's in Germany, so I don't, I don't, I don't think I'll be seeing her anytime soon. Yeah, the roof. Michaela is in Germany. Let me pull her her Instagram. She is currently here in in Berlin, so So yeah, I don't I won't see her um she won't be around anytime soon. Yeah, no yeah. Oh, Dmac talking about Rachel. I don't know, you don't think talking about Rachel Dmac. Uh, Vicente, what's up, Vicente? I met with Vicente, uh, in, um, in San Francisco, well, in the Bay Area last week, a week before last. He's a cool guy. He said, what photographers inspire you? Um, the photographers that inspire me, um, I, I told you guys before, um, I appreciate Broly's work a lot. I'll pull him up here. Um, this guy, I'm a big fan of his work. Um, Underground NYC. This guy, I'm a big fan of his work as well. heard I'm a big fan of Sam uh, he does wedding work and porches and weddings pull up fur fur he shoots weddings as well he's awesome like just photos like this being able to see light like this to me is amazing. Like just to see these shapes and these compositions are like amazing. Like stuff like this, that's what inspires me. Like super artistic stuff. Cause I'm not, I don't feel like I'm not as, as artistic. And so like when I look at this stuff, I gain inspiration. And one thing I'll say like, if you like a photographer or you admire them, follow them and try to gain as much inspiration from their style as possible. Um, so, for example, like, um, where can I think of it? Like a picture like this. Like a, a engagement photo or, or something that I would shoot, like in this, in this realm. Pictures like this are inspired by work like this. Um, another one. My friend G Day Alakija. He's awesome as well. 
And he does a lot of, um, what is the word? He does a lot of documentary, like photojournalism and street photography. But his stuff is amazing. I believe he shot this on a Fuji X-T2. Yeah, this is this stuff is amazing. Oh, this is him. This is G Day. Oh, and then my friend Josh. His wedding work is awesome. And he's funny. Oh, and he has a YouTube channel as well. But he doesn't post as much. So yeah, like in between like weddings and portraits, because that's what I do. Like there's people I follow because they inspire me wedding wise and documentary style wise. Um, and then there are people who I follow because their portraits to me are like amazing. Pete Souza. He's amazing. He was uh, the official photographer for Obama. His stuff is crazy. Like his how he shoots was amazing to me because like he you know he couldn't he couldn't have the president stop. Like he had to just shoot what he sees. Like this kind of photo to me is like amazing. Just the story that it tells. I'm really big into storytelling when it comes to documentary and art and stuff like that. That's that's why I like shooting weddings. So yeah, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea. Like between the wedding work and uh exactly, yeah, he always had to be ready. Between wedding work and portrait work, like that's kind of where I am. And even like when it comes to like how I edit my photos, like this particular style, this is very much like how I like to edit. More true to life, like it's not super filtery, if that's a word. It's just kind of like very, very subtle, you know, changes in the tones. But it's kind of like timeless, you know? Not a whole lot of extra stuff to it. Like, they just enhance the colors. So, yeah, Underground NYC. He's got like a gang of followers, though. So, you guys probably already know who he is. Um, and then sometimes for studio work, Lindsay Adler is, Lindsay Adler is dope. Lindsay Adler photo. I appreciate her stuff a lot too. Like she's amazing for studio work. Yeah, Lindsay's on. The, yeah, she's on a level. On the, she's on another level, <clears throat> and she's just gotten better over the years. Like when I met her, like years ago, she wasn't even this good, and that's the idea. The um the idea is you want to just get better and better over time. Like I'm not this good yet, but I'm sure like in a few years, like with enough practice and enough trying and experimenting and models, I'll be this good. I have that confidence. I just gotta get better at retouching because I swear my retouching is trash. But anyways, yeah, so Hopefully they gave you some insight into who I am as a photographer, what inspires me. Vicente, you asked that question, so I kind of went on a, a whole drift and kind of explained to you guys um, what I like. Will you? Would you ever shoot with the Lumix G9? Um, that's that's the plan. Obina, I was trying to figure that out. That's the plan on the Obina is to get my hands on a G9 and shoot shoot a wedding with it. Um, but. Um, would I own one? Probably not. Like, I wouldn't buy one. But as far as shooting, um, like maybe doing a photo shoot one with one or shooting a wedding with, with one just for YouTube, just to test it out and, like, you know, do, like, a mini review or first impressions, I'd do something like that. So that's uh, that's something I want to do. Um, but this has got too much stuff coming out. Nikon's announcing their mirrorless camera. Canon is retouching, or sorry, Canon is announcing their mirrorless camera. 
DJI's coming out with another drone. Like, um, there's so much stuff coming out. I gotta save these coins. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, DMAC, let me plug DMAC. DMAC did a video with uh, the slanted lens. They, they put together a studio. This is DMAC, you guys. DYI. Yeah, so make sure you guys check him out. Him and, um... Make sure you guys check him out. Him and, uh... Oh, what is that? Well, let me tell you my first kind of initial thoughts looking at it here. The bevels in the ceiling are going to cause a little bit of a problem for us, but I don't want to be uh, warmish. Up to just okay. So now you've got a nice JP Morgan, yeah. Uh, and remember, on and hit that thumbs up. You have your your angle of view, your your photography. Um. Oh, so yeah. Quick shout out to let you guys know, I will be in Dallas uh, next weekend. I think next weekend. Wait. Tosh comes back, and then we leave. I think we leave, like, next Thursday, so I'll be in Dallas. Um, if you guys want to do a meetup or do some kind of something, whoever's in Dallas and wants to meet up, I think the wedding is Saturday. I might be free uh, Sunday, so we might do, like, a meetup or something like that on Sunday. I don't know. But if you're in Dallas, if you're in that area and want and, and you want to get together, uh, reach out to me. Let me know on Instagram, um, and we can get together when I come out to Dallas. I might reach out to Keydren and see if we can do like a collab or something like that with Keydren. I'm not sure yet. I just, I just, I'm, I'm all over the place. I don't know what to do yet. Like if I did a collab with Keydren, I'm trying to figure out what we what we would do. Like what's the collab about? So yeah, that's a long time, DMAC. Four hours is, is a long way to drive just for one day. I, would, I wouldn't do it, but especially since we've seen each other in Vegas. Like, and I plan on going to, to WPPI next year, so. But um, yeah, if you got any suggestions for Dallas, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to sign out now. And uh, thank you guys for joining and sticking around this long. Once again, my live stream went like forever. But uh, yeah. All right, folks. Peace out.